This is ContactTalkRadio.com. Consciousness in action. And you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Hing.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. This is ContactTalkRadio.com, consciousness in action, and you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Hing.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Welcome to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Joan and Janet are subtle energy empaths who navigate consciousness. Their passion is to support you in your evolution. As consciousness, we are all one. One mind, one heart, free of all limitations. Experience this reality with us and discover how it can make a difference in your daily living. Join us in a state of grace as we explore, with warmth and humor, this thing we call life. Now, here are Joan Newcomb and Janet Barrett. Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. We're your co-host, Joan Lucan, coming to you from Tacoma, Washington, and my partner, Janet Barrett's coming to you from Portland, Oregon. Hello, everyone. Oh, how nice to be with you again today. It is a lovely day in the neighborhood, <laughs> and we're so glad to be with you. And yeah. we have a really interesting show today. We are discussing consciousness and the new balance. Mm-hmm. So there is a way of leveraging in this new energy, and it's it's about not fighting the wave of change nor reverting back to your habitual fallback position. So stay tuned because Janet and I are going to talk to you about how to enjoy the ride. Oh, and it is a ride out there, that's for sure. So here's an invitation to go deeper with us, to connect with us beyond the show. You can join us at our website, www.consciousconversationswithjoanandjanet.com. And there you're going to find a all the podcasts we have of our show, uh, which is usually live on Wednesday mornings here. And then you're going to find out information about our blogs, both Joan and I, right? And hers goes out on Fridays and mine on Monday. And about our meetups, we do them everywhere. And then our sessions, Facebook, all that. Joan's got all that good info for you. Go for it, Joan. Yes, so uh, since I operate within time and space a little bit more frequently than Janet does. Um, (laughs) Janet's uh, Janet's meetups are on uh, Tuesday nights and Thursday afternoons in her beautiful home in Portland. Mine are around the Puget Sound. I do them in Seattle, Bellevue, Tacoma, in University Place, which is actually south of Tacoma. I have a special coming up. This Sunday, excuse me, which, what, what year am I in? Okay, this, this Saturday I'm in Tacoma. Yeah, there's, there's a mute button by the way. So, uh, this Saturday I'm in Tacoma and that's Saturday, August the 12th at 3 p.m. I'm at Cutters Point Coffee, which is on Pearl Street in Tacoma. It used to be, um, uh, it used to be Forza's. So don't go to the other cutter's point. It doesn't have a meeting room. This is in, uh, and I'm going to be talking about the consciousness master class. It's an opportunity for you to go deeper into consciousness. If you're familiar with my work, if you've read my blog, if you've listened to these podcasts, watched my videos, or been to my meetups and seminars, I, I talk about consciousness and we play with it at a certain level, but we can't go as deep as it we possibly could because there's always new subscribers there's newcomers to the meeting and so it always keeps it somewhat on a beginner level and some people love this because it, it's a lot for them just to peel away the layers well in this master class we go beyond parallel universes and this introductory session will transform your lives in ways that you can't possibly imagine and For you to value the information, I am asking an expression of appreciation and commitment of just $10. It's a little bit different than showing up free. So for $10, uh, it's going, we're going to be in Tacoma this week and then on the 20th, we're going to be in Seattle. And I also have a webinar. So if you missed the webinar but would like to get that information, you can shoot us an email through the website and I will send you the recording. That's lots of stuff. That's a so. lot of information. I'll repeat it at the very end. So stay tuned to the end and you can listen to us all again. Get your pencil and paper out to make notes. And you have your new opening, right, for your class, your 12 weeks? 
Yes, so 12 Weeks to Transformation. There's actually a series of classes starting in September, but the private coaching that is ongoing, I usually only have a handful of sessions available per year or uh, spots for an individual client per year, and I'm pretty picky about it. So, uh, But if you feel strongly motivated, then you might be the right person for this course. It's 12 Weeks of Transformation. I hold a powerful space for you to transform every aspect of your life, and you can learn to navigate your life with conscious mastery with a sense of confidence and um, certainty in being in this very new, strange world. Um, I hold a powerful space for you to, to transform your life in 12 weeks. You do that, and you do it really well. So how about their Facebook addresses and all that? What okay. Get there? Um, sure. And by the way, I kind of realized it's like, how do you find out about the Conscious Mastery? Go to my website, joan-newcomb.com, <laughs> and look at my coaching programs. And in terms of our Facebook and things like that, go to Facebook. If you're a Facebook person and look up Janet Barrett and get on her, her page. Uh, I'm Joan Newcomb. You can get on my page. And then our show page is Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Join the group and join the fun. If you are a Twitter person, uh, and you, and Twitter is your drug of choice, your social media <laughs> of choice, the show is at Joan and Janet. Janet is at Janet Beyond, and I am Joan Newcomb, and I have a lot of fun on Twitter. I um, uh, I, I tweet 24-7, so have fun <laughs> with that. And then the show is on YouTube, Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet on YouTube. You can binge listen to us uh, on, on YouTube, or you can see my shows on YouTube. But go back to my web- our website, Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet.com, because I also post all my videos there as well. So that's a central point to find out all this information. Lots of different ways to get a hold of us. We're showing up at different places in our community. So we'd love to see you join us here, there, wherever that might be. Um, and we also do a free conference call on the third Thursday of the month. That, that'll be coming up here in a couple of weeks. So do we know what that date is offhand, Joan, that third Thursday? Uh, oh, boy, I think it's next. Uh, not this week. It's the following week. Um, but you'll be yes, and you'll yeah. be doing it all by your little bitty self. Oh, and that's be the, right. That's that's why it's not here. And so <laughs> yeah. that's the. I think it's the seventeenth of August. Yeah, so right, and that's it. Where we spend an hour, we just play. Uh, in a small intimate group, as intimate it could be over the, over the free conference call. And, uh, it's a way to look at what you might have going on in your life and how, how we c- can all be supportive in that because we're the infinite sea of potential here. And so please consider joining us for that and you can find out more about that with, at conscious with Joan and Janet at Gmail dot com for for that telephone number and stuff. So we're going to talk about the new balance this week. And uh, how does that strike you, Joan? What's that about to you? Well, you know, when we were thinking about this. Yes, yes, and I don't want people to get confused with the the ladies' sneakers, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that my mother used to love. If you're 80 years old, you love those sneakers. Um, yeah. So consciousness and the new balance. Well, the thing is, is that there is a new energy going on in the world, and we have different ways of describing and explaining it. Mm-hmm. Uh, people will talk about the gravitational field changing. They'll talk about um, people's DNA changing. It can feel pretty disoriented because we're used to the heavy, heaviness or density of the planet, and you can feel pretty comforted being kind of weighed down by the planet. But as this awareness, this consciousness comes into form, it's a very high, high, high vibration coming into form and you can feel pretty disorienting. It can feel buoyant. Mm -hmm. You can feel giddy and joyous, but it's, it, it isn't, it's, it isn't grounding in the old sense. It's kind of wirelessly connecting. So how do you manage your balance with the newness? Cause you don't want to shut it off, but you also don't want to feel like you're a leaf tossed on the way. So yeah, you know, both, both you and I, and in group especially, uh, because we, you know, we're there for two hours with it. It, it. This is, we're all excited, to be quite honest. 
where we find ourselves in our lives is this new opening and it's, we're really stepping into it. And for people that don't uh, spend the time like we do, but use their own processes, use their, their own states of awareness, um, we want to invite everyone to appreciate that this is good that where you find yourself is good, that those things that may have worked before for you are changing. That is good because they're all tied into the old framework of how we viewed life and ourselves as consciousness and ourselves as humans. And all those setups that we have organized as reality, and they're all getting tuned to different and sometimes it's very subtle and sometimes it's just a real ride. And so that's what we want to focus on today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's exciting. Yes. I would just call it exciting. You know, uh, sometimes it doesn't feel exciting. But I, as you can hold yourself as consciousness, you can see, you can view it that way more so than in the one who's experiencing stuff. Because so, sometimes experience isn't all it's cracked up to be, right? Right. It's <laughs> it's not terrifying. It's exciting. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and, it's, all right. it's a it's a roller coaster ride. So lift your hands up and scream, and it's a lot of fun. It is. All right. Are we ready for our break? I think. I think so. So listen oh, yeah. with that wonderful image. Uh, just imagine yourself uh, chugging your way up to Splash Mountain or Space Mountain or something like that. We have to stop for a commercial break and you are listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet and stay tuned because we're talking about consciousness and the new balance when we come right back. Is your soul calling you to do something more meaningful with your life? Do you feel crazy for wanting to quit your secure job? Perhaps you are waiting until you retire to do what you love. Maybe you are too daunted to follow your dream. If any of these match your life, then Joan Newcomb's Purpose and Passion Coaching Program is just for you. In just 12 weeks, you will discover who you essentially are and why you are here. Learn to live as your greater self and navigate with conscious mastery. Go to joan-newcomb.com. That's joan-newcomb.com for all of her coaching programs. Would you like a fresh approach to the challenges you are dealing with? Take a journey into your enlightenment with Janet Barrett. Janet is a subtle energies empath accessing the field of potential with warmth, humor, and support. She will help you to hear what your inner voice is saying. She will share with you how to appreciate who you are now and offer you new ways to understand and transform your issues. Reach her at www.janetandbeyond.com. That's janetandbeyond.com. Again, janetandbeyond.com. Transformation is possible. You can enjoy new outcomes in your current experiences. They can happen in the blink of an eye. You are listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. To reach our program, please send questions and comments to Conscious with Joan and Janet at gmail.com. That's Conscious with Joan and Janet at gmail.com. Now, back to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Welcome back. You're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. I'm your host, Joan Long, here with Janet, and we are talking about consciousness and the new balance. Ah, oh, everybody needs to breathe, don't they? <laughs> there is so much going on between our, what is it, our eclipses and our ellipses and our swiveling hips and, you know, everything is in movement and, 
how we deal with that and um, allow it to happen because it's going to happen. And so resistance is, doesn't have any value. It's just about allowing yourself to say, oh, here it comes and there I go. And that's the fun part of this, I think. So, Yeah. Well, you know, I, our bodies would naturally resist because it, it's kind of like the startle reflex, I think, of an infant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and you know, our bodies are creatures of habit. And they want things to be predictable and they want things to be the same. And it, it, it just, it ain't happening. And it, it never was happening. the same. There's yeah. an illusion of it staying the same, but it's not really the same. So non-resistant, just don't resist it. And you'll actually find that it's a lot of fun. Right. There we go. So everybody, let's, let's look about just moving our awareness to heart centered awareness. And for those of you that um, when I say the word heart and you get just emotional, what we're doing is we're going beyond that. All right. So if we say heart, we're only referencing it in terms of physical heart because appreciation is always the foundation of being anything. And so just notice that sense of heart that you have of your physical heart. All right. And just notice that without it, you wouldn't be in this state. <laughs> Of aliveness. So, and then, then there's the emotional terrain. And for a lot, that's where they get kind of off whack because they don't want to go into something that hurts or whatever. You're holding agendas there. So, we're not going into that part. We're just acknowledging that you do have emotions and we're loving them or we're at peace with them or we're just really want to be neutral to them. And so you are an emotional creature, however you demonstrate that, to the degree that you demonstrate that. And this is not where we're staying. So just invite yourself to breathe. And then we're going to go to the core essence of all, which is what heart means. And this is how we're using it. So when we say heart-centered awareness, we are going to that place where it is much bigger than you and I. It is the field of unified consciousness, and it is where we are one. And in that place, information is abounding everywhere. And you can have a different awareness of it. So, this is the infinite sea of potential. What potential truly means is that nothing is yet till it is. So, you have potential, you have energy, you have potential. And just notice that. You are, we're observing ourselves as photons. Some have light. The light photon and some are biomass oriented and so we have a little bit of salt solidity and then we are in frequencies, vibrations, movement. We are into the informational field where information is showing up and all of that comes together as our stories in our patterns and in resonances. And we are in resonance with this and that and the other thing. So just allow yourself to be kind and just notice how you notice yourself. This is free of your humanity a little bit. We're just opening up, allowing for information to flow and unfolding in our awareness of ourselves as consciousness. Now, for some people, you're in a very aware state of that. You just bring your awareness, and there it is. And then for some, this is a learning process. And like Joan was talking about, new people come into this fold all the time, and it's beginner's mind is a good place to be. So that's why I'm always looking to bring us into the fold, because I don't know who and what and where you are, But I'm welcoming you, Joan is welcoming you into this state of potential. So just notice yourself as that. This is warmth, support, non-judgment. This is grace. And what it'd be like to feel that real. Not just a word, but real. And a lot of shifting going on in that. So I bet we got some new people along with us today, Joan. 
yes. know what you aware of. Yeah, what you got. Yeah, it 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 feels like there's a new wave going, mm-hmm. <laughs> going on. Yeah. And it it just it's an increased amount of people kind of going, "What? <laughs> What's yeah. going on?" Yeah. Yeah. And so what I what what I was thinking about is is for folks just to notice what this feels like and and if they can notice what is different now with you having brought them into heart space. Well, I didn't bring them into it. I just brought them the awareness that they have heart space. The awareness again. would that so, be yes. Yeah. And right. and the right. thing is is that we are we all exist on multiple levels at once. Yeah. And the other thing is is that we're all waking up whether or not we're mm-hmm. aware of it or not. I mm-hmm. had this discussion in my meetup uh, on Sunday that, uh, you know, I was checking this out with people because I remember we interviewed somebody who said that, no, not everybody is waking up. And mm-hmm. I view everybody as consciousness. So whether or not mm-hmm. th- that aspect of consciousness is walking around unconscious in their storyline mm-hmm. doesn't mm-hmm. mean that greater consciousness is coming into form everywhere. So everyone is having an energetic upgrade, whether or not you're aware of it or, it or not. not. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. So right. Uh, one of the things is to notice what's different when you listen to this show, what is different, and to notice what's different if you play along with going into heart space. Right. All of these things valid, validate because it's a very subtle change. You know, it's very subtle, but it's very profound that you just suddenly feel more real. You feel more mm-hmm. present. And, mm-hmm. uh, and half the time you have no idea how that happened. And that's <laughs> usually right on. It's like, if you don't know what's going on or how you've done that, it's you as consciousness operating in the form. Oh, so this brings in the aspect of control I was mm. thinking about because our mm-hmm. bodies and our personalities want to control this reality. Right. It's how, right. It's how we feel safe. So we come mm-hmm. up with a system and we do the same thing over and over again and, you know, we touch the bedpost in our nose and then we know we're safe, you know, mm-hmm. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So if you find yourself wanting to control your external reality by doing, you know, habitual behaviors or coming up with, mm-hmm. I just I just need more discipline do going forward, those sort of mm-hmm. things, that actually is going to backfire. It's not working in today's reality. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, good stuff. I, what I'm, uh, a couple of different things come to mind. We're in this unfolding. So situations play out around us. And in this time, dynamics would seem to be allowing the individual, each of us, to, as we unfold into this new awareness that we are much more, to look at what's showing up that might be registered as a stress or a challenge or a problem, et cetera, et cetera, and look at it again from this new awareness. Um, it, it's very, it feels, can feel very turbulent out in the world and lots of things going on. And each time we're invited to notice how we hold that information. And those things that we respond habituated to without thinking are showing up for us to go wake up. And that's the wake up call is that you can't take things for granted unless you choose to. And that's why we're saying consciousness is evolving everywhere. You know, I mean, you, you can't be, you can't hold yourself outside of it. That's only the human reference that says, oh, nothing's different. Consciousness, it'll leave you, it'll leave you behind in the dust. So uh, that's what we're exploring is how, um, I don't think you can be a victim in this new awareness. You have to realize how you are in it, how you are complacent, how you are allowing, how, and whatever the circumstances look like on the outside. We are just coming to this place of, ah, this is where I find myself and how do I want to be in this state? And if my body cannot move, how how does my spirit move? You know, it's all these different degrees and dynamics that we were talking about always. We're so multidimensional. Um, and that's why it's so 
upsetting, I think, is because there's not just one place we're getting tapped into. It's all. It's all. It's all. <laughs> all of it. Yes. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, and you know, the other thing, I might actually be saying exactly what you said with different words. Oh, well. So, uh, <laughs> some people will hear it from me. So, one of the things I, I was thinking is that we are individually becoming more sensitive. Mm -hmm. So, we're not only tuning into our own body's reaction to these changes, mm -hmm. we are sensing Everyone, you know, we are tuned right, into the right, collective. Right, yeah. We'll, we'll, right, you know, right. we'll, our, our telepathy, our empathy is just uh -huh. going through the roof. So if you were kind mm -hmm. of sensitive before, you are mega sensitive now. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that'll really confuse you because you will be feeling the collective's response to something and that might not be you. Right. If you're listening to this, you're more than likely a light bringer. You are a person who is on the leading edge, who is excited by these changes, but you might be the only one in your family that is, because that's actually pretty, <laughs> that's pretty typical. Yeah. yeah. And the rest of your family is completely losing their shizzle over the stuff going on because yeah. they're not as tuned in to the leading edge stuff that you're really excited about. So you're really excited and you can see the end, light at the end of the tunnel and they just think it's a train. Well, I think what happens is in, it, what's happening is that, you know, we tend to think in terms of duality. And so common uh, expressions of duality are right, wrong, this, that. Um, and, and so if you think of it as a blade, a sword... Because I'm a Libra, triple Libra, you know, and I'm into fairness and all that kind of stuff. The blade is the blade. One side is one side and one side is another side. And where we are really, and we're used to being on one side or the other, or we're used to being not knowing how we feel about either side. And I think we're just, that that's the cutting edge that we talk about, is that we're on, on that edge of the blade and we realize that it can be this or it can be that, or it can be neither. It could be just in the neutral positioning of navigation that you slide right through the middle. And as more people are coming into this awareness, the things that they've taken for granted or never questioned, they just said it was them, you know, because that's the way we think, all of a sudden are having more awareness that, just a minute, uh, I'm feeling something and that's not really me. That's really that. And, oh, oh, okay. What if I feel different? Let me go back to what I recognize as my inner truth. Oh, okay. Uh, check in there. And then you start to notice. Because if we are all one. So you're going to notice these different degrees. And what you're describing is how people are opening up and becoming more empathic and more states of rapport and uh, awareness. It's not just saying we are one. We mean it. <laughs> it's just how you're holding yourself in that awareness. So. That's why we're, that's why we're comfortable with this is because we realize that that is manifesting in people's awareness bigger. That we are one. So what is it that's unique to you? What is it unique to me? And how are we the same in it? And that's, that's wonderful stuff. You know, I have to say that I, I was not comfortable with this at first. You know, What's my, that? the, 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 uh, I was not comfortable with any of this at, at the shift or the change at first because mm. I was mm -hmm. very, I was very rooted, very mm. grounded in mm -hmm. an old paradigm of, of energy work that required mm -hmm. you to be grounded and, you mm -hmm. know, feel gravity increase and be physically present. And there was a mm -hmm. lot of, mm -hmm. um, expectations and, and assumptions about it and judgments about it and this dogma lots of dogma yes, about what and, real what and, is real and, and not real yeah yeah no catma about it so <laughs> um so i realize now is that i've become comfortable with this expansion and 
uh, sometimes there'll be like, for instance, doing this meetup yesterday propelled me into a new level of something. And I had to kind of walk around with this additional kind of buzz going on, which normally I would have just fought tooth and nail about, but it's like, Oh mm-hmm. no, it's just, it's an expansion. It's, you know, my aura has stretch marks. I just have to, <laughs> I have to relax into whatever is coming next. And so, yeah, so now I re- reframe it like you, you suggested being excited about it. It's like, yeah, now I'm, now I'm really curious to see how this is unfolding. Um, where as the old part of me that liked to be the expert would be driven crazy about not having a precise explanation for this. Well, that's the control that you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Right. And con- it w- there will always be control. What we want is a more fluid sense of control that allows us to hold hold together, but it also invites new information to come in and it just becomes cohesive. It just, you know, it's not an immediate this or that. It's, oh, let me try this, see how this works. Oh, my gosh. And you, then you just turn around and it's it's expanded and you're different. And sometimes we don't notice those changes because they do work on a subtle level because our focus has been somewhere else. And we forget how multidimensional we are. And that's how stuff works. You know, it's like there's something. Now there's not. There's something. Yeah. Oh, now it's not. And we we don't always appreciate that when we're coming from this human viewpoint of this is this, this is this, this is not that. Oh, this is this. this oh, you know, I mean, <laughs> we mark those variables in a different kind of way as opposed to oh, look at that how exciting is that which kind of probably is a lot some scientists you know scientists are looking for that what's different right um and uh that's that's a good kind of science when they're you're trying to not prove and keep yourself limited to what you think you're trying to prove you're it's an investigation it's an it's an exploration and when science is exploration oriented uh, what comes out of that just gets huge. So. Yeah, it's it's so interesting because to be a good scientist, you're you're experiment you're experimenting and you are looking for what is new or different, mm-hmm. and you're and not trying to make the world conform to your expectations of reality. Mm. And um, you know, we've talked about this on the show before about the double slit experiment, which mm-hmm. which showed the effect of the observer upon right. that being observed and how every experiment in history has <laughs> been observed. So it gets conformed to what our expectations are. And then you just have more of the same. You don't really have evolution to something different. And what's going on right now is evolution to something different. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> well, don't, don't look at it. It's getting better. <laughs> well, w- w- when we were talking about this, because we always talk about what we're going to talk about, uh, to some degree, at least give us a direction. And I found myself using the word leverage, which is not a word that I would use, but uh, it was a word that came up. And uh, and in terms of balance and harmony, um, leverage we were reading, wasn't that about having a force to move something really I think was what that was coming down to and that how you use something to do something and this is what's happening is that when when we unfold and open something shifts something increases somewhere along the way and it allows something else to show up so so often we work from a place of suppression and but and we don't see it that way because we think in terms of limits and and limits are about suppressing something they're putting it in a form a container a box uh, whatever it is and so when you don't have 
repression at play anymore. That's allowing itself to move. So someplace you'd never go within yourself or never have a skill or never thought you could do something. All of a sudden is this unfolding is that leverage is coming into play. Something new is moving out of the way. So that lets something else release. And um, I think that's why this is exciting because you can see if you allow yourself, uh, if you hold and see that's consciousness at play, if you hold for those dynamics to just flow, that you're not in container, out of container mode, that information is just here and then it's there and then it's over there and you find yourself doing this wonderful Tai Chi or Wuji, <laughs> you know, in those martial arts practices of just riding the dragging and being in place. And um, it's not being attached other than, oh, 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 okay, bye. <laughs> That's the way I, I kind of have a handle on that. So <sighs> It leaves you so open to something new. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, it's you know living in the mystery, living with the question, living with the inquiry. Um, in- curious. It, yes. Curious. It allows you to be curious. I right. think that the qualities of consciousness is mm-hmm. is uh, curiosity and amusement, and it's uh, very yeah. it's very childlike. It's it's very childlike, mm-hmm. but there's an infinite wisdom in that as well. So uh-huh. when you can apply all those things to moving through your reality, waking up in the morning with curiosity mm-hmm. and improvising through your day, then that's really you navigating life as consciousness. You know, I think, uh, and that's a, well, so well put. I, what comes to mind is in the last 10 years or so, or I don't know however long I've been doing all this work, um, you know, we've uh, there's been indigo children, and there's been this kind of child and that kind of child, and all these different stages of awareness. And sometimes in those old frameworks, pardon me, those were that inside that old hologram, um, you can find yourself having felt bad, having felt bad because you weren't the new ones coming and you didn't hold that enlightenment that same way and you had to go through your crappy life and all these things and this is about that those might have been useful definitions but they're not useful in anything other than marking a place and that what happens is that when you that's the power of a label is that you decide oh I'm not that. Oh, then I must not be, I must not be that, or I might not have the potential, or yeah, well, maybe every now and then. And I think what we're inviting our listeners to become more comfortable with is that wherever you come up, have come up, or coming up against something that feels you are not, that's the invitation. That's the opportunity. That's the miracle. That's the adventure that is waiting for you. Because what if it was you? What if it was you in a way that you have never been? And what if it was you in a way that you didn't allow yourself to not be? There's all these different... um Forces at play, dynamics at play, states of awareness, morphic fields. I mean, it's all up for grabs. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You can also, you can make it all up. Yeah. So you can make up your own techniques for navigating and they can work for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's so much information available now for people. Um, and the, what I would just offer is to the, to our listeners is in that open availability is that you still have to run it to check it. You still have to check it. Don't accept. Don't accept anything. Don't accept what John and I say. Don't accept, you know, anybody. 
run it, check it first. Check it and go, oh, you're right. That speaks to those truths. Got it. Okay. Um, because none of us like to be told what to do. And what's good for me uh, might be different for you on a personal note. And then it might be cosmically, oh, right. Okay. So there's all these different uh, notice for yourself. And and just it be in the state, well, if I would like more information about this, what would that be like? Where could I find that? And just see what shows up. Um, you know, there's there's lots of different ways and lots of different things out there in the world. And uh, a lot of this is a shakedown cruise. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, it's, what's what's going on in the world today feels like a shakedown. That's for sure. Totally. <laughs> well, there was an op page last week, I guess, in our local paper. And it was filled with, okay, and I'll go political here, the Trump administration and what's been tried, what what's, was put out last week. Or the last couple of months and how the response was to it. How did the system hold up? And the system kept holding in place. The system kept saying yes, no, and it was working. And there, and that's what this is all about is you put out something and you, and you get to say, well, is the, is the integrity holding for that to be real, not real? What do we want to do with it? And I invite each of us to be in that place and go, okay, somebody said something. Is that real? Not real. I mean, in this state, you notice that more so. Because <laughs> consciousness doesn't care. So it's going to give you the information back to you and you're going to go, ooh, no, really, I don't like that. I'm, and go over here when that was your truth and you're just doing this avoidance dance, you know. And at some point, you know, it, it'll come back and you'll go, really? Uh, all right. <laughs> well, so I'll jump in there because mm-hmm. the part of you that's doing the avoidance dance is not you as consciousness. Right, and, exactly. So... So it, that's an example of, of navigating life as unconsciousness. But if mm-hmm. you're listening to this, you're, you are already open and opening and aware to greater consciousness. Mm-hmm. So it's a really simple shift of perspective to be navigating life with your conscious awareness, conscious mastery right. from your greater consciousness, which gives you so much more confidence and um, ability to make choices and so you will notice when you've got that little gremlin voice, that little monkey mind that wants to act as if things are happening to them, they're the victim uh, all these bad things are happening or whatever but you as consciousness can step in you can be your own parent, you can be your own navigator, you are the not only the programmer of the game here, you're the game designer of the game mm-hmm. And suddenly everything falls into place and, you know, we've used this for, you know, everything's all right. And there isn't any of that old habitual kind of narration going on in your head. Mm -mm. Just kind of falls away. And that's part of what this new balance is about. How we're loosening up those things that we've been connected as human, inviting our awareness of consciousness to help, help us go into the flow of it and where the rapids are and where everything is moving. And when we were talking originally about this, John, we were talking about the wave and how a good surfer uses the wave and whether he's on a board or body surfing, it's that skill set that pops in. You know where you are in the wave. You have a feel of the wave. And everything is hunky-dory. And then sometimes there's that other wave. The other wave that forces you, not not forces, I don't want to use that word, challenges you to shift gears. And it's really not a sh- it's really not more than that because the skill set is there and it's just how it's adapting and in the moment connecting to the flow of what's coming. And so sometimes, you know, to an outsider watching, you go, oh, 
oh my god, you're going to get hit. And there they go. They know to go into the wave in a different place and in a different space. They know they're going to come out of the wave. And for a moment there, we held our breath, right? And so that's what we're looking to all be as, as we come up against these things and we get in the flow and, uh, you know, water is a great metaphor for life. So <laughs> as we observe it and how we are in it and, uh, how that all works together. Oh, wow. I must say I'm enjoying these shows about the Pacific and different things so much because you see how animals act in it, right? And there's so much we don't know. And uh, there's worlds in there that are happening. It's fun. Very fun. Yes. Yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> it's just like things are unfolding in the moment. And each of us are having our, our own and different perspectives of things. And it's really, it's just really fascinating to see how we, um, experience it in the moment and he, I now I've caught my train of thought as I was watching <laughs> it leave, leave the station without me um, so so here's the thing is that we operate on multiple levels at once so your mm-hmm. body can be experiencing you know uh, you know fear or anxiety but you as consciousness have a greater perspective of what's going on and you can choose to let your greater consciousness be the one steering the bus even if your body is you know hungry angry lonely tired want you know wants to take a nap or needs to have an ice cream cone so you so it's it's allowing all aspects to be at play and uh and and allowing them all to be at play but maybe not allowing your six-year-old to drive the car (laughs) yeah yeah that right or then again you know uh, <laughs> it would be a different journey with a six-year-old driving <laughs> and if there was if there was you know bumper cars a lot of people like bumper cars uh you know it just would be a different journey and i think if we allow it to be that uh i'd like to be a little more constructive um i'd like to be able to see over the in, out the over the wheel <laughs> better than i would have as my six-year-old but um, yeah, we, maybe it's just cause it's summer and there's fairs and there's Ferris wheels and there's bumper cars and there's all kinds of things to be participating in and being outside. Yeah, it's so nice outside. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yeah. Well, so I am, I am, I am tuned into time and space as usual. Mm-hmm. So it's about that time that we're going to take another commercial break. I just want to let folks know that you're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. I'm your host, Joan. I'm along here with Janet. And we are talking about consciousness and the new balance. And we'll resume doing so right after these messages. Is your soul calling you to do something more meaningful with your life? Do you feel crazy for wanting to quit your secure job? Perhaps you are waiting until you retire to do what you love. Maybe you are too daunted to follow your dream. If any of these match your life, then Joan Newcomb's Purpose and Passion Coaching Program is just for you. In just 12 weeks, you will discover who you essentially are and why you are here. Learn to live as your greater self and navigate with conscious mastery. Go to joan-newcomb.com. That's joan-newcomb.com for all of her coaching programs. Would you like a fresh approach to the challenges you are dealing with? Take a journey into your enlightenment with Janet Barrett. Janet is a subtle energies empath accessing the field of potential with warmth, humor, and support. She will help you to hear what your inner voice is saying. She will share with you how to appreciate who you are now and offer you new ways to understand and transform your issues. 
Reach her at www.janetandbeyond.com. That's janetandbeyond.com. Again, janetandbeyond.com. Transformation is possible. You can enjoy new outcomes in your current experiences. They can happen in the blink of an eye. You are listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. To reach our program, please send questions and comments to Conscious with Joan and Janet at gmail.com. That's Conscious with Joan and Janet at gmail.com. Now, back to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. Welcome back. You're listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. I'm your host, Joan. I'm along here with Janet. We are talking about consciousness and the new balance. Anything else to say about this topic, Janet? Well, you know, we like to make it, uh, give people examples. Okay. So, you know that thing, that board that you put on, that's on a ball or it's on a log or something and it, and it, and you step on it and it tips. Right, and it's a struggle when you first get on it to get your balance, but finally you get your balance, and it's not that you just stay flat. Your balance modulates. Your your harmony modulates with the forces at play and the wood and the ball, and and it's just this delightful sense of sometimes when you first get on a thing, it feels kind of wacky. And, and then you, then you come to more, I don't, stabilize, leverage, you know, all those words, but it's not static. It is still has variables in it. And with every breath, you kind of play. That's the way we want to be in our life. Then sometimes we step off of it and we re, reorganize ourselves and we go, okay, I'm going to try that again. And you do. And then sometimes you don't go back to it for a couple of weeks. And then you go, well, well, let me try it again. And it's different. And sometimes it's the same. And there's no judgment in any of this. We are all finding our new sense of stability. It's been very, felt very unstable. It's very, felt very tricky. It's felt lots of different things. And now I want to invite our listeners to put your feet down. However, whatever that means to you, and notice what it's like to be standing now, and see where it goes. Yes. <laughs> we got our messages. We have to tell them. We, we, we've got, we've got messages. We've got <laughs> things within time and space. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and jump into telling everyone about. <laughs> How to go deeper with us and connect with us beyond the show. Our website is Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet dot com. There you can listen to all our old podcasts, uh, every single one of them, and you can <laughs> also read uh, Janet's blogs and my blogs. We put our blogs out each once a week, so you, there is always new information there for you. We have our meetups there. Uh, Janet does hers on Tuesday night and on Thursday afternoon. I was going to say morning, so I'm in a weird time zone. Um, and then <laughs> okay. also, um, let me see. I do mine all around the Puget Sound, and so I will. I'll tell you about what's coming up next um, after this little spiel. Uh, there's also you can connect to us about our sessions. Uh, you can find out about the show on Facebook. Uh, do you think you know what the address is on Facebook, Janet? This is a test. Facebook. Oh, Conscious with Joan and Janet is our fan book page, maybe. And I'm you're Janet good. Barrett, and you're uh, Joan Marjorie Newcomb. Newcomb. Yeah, or just- yeah or you, you can find it on Joan Newcomb as well, but I love it <laughs> when you say fan, our fan book page. It's our fan book page. Yeah, okay, something like that. You know, I before I do forget, I want to thank all the people that have been linking up with me. It's been delightful. Thank you so very much. I'm getting a lot are, of people. Are they, 
Are they linking up with you on LinkedIn or are they linking up with linking you on Facebook? Linking up on me on LinkedIn and Facebook. Facebook's uh, pretty good, but LinkedIn for okay. reason, for some reason. Okay, okay, really okay. We have, we have, we have two, two more seconds. minutes. Go for two it. More, two more minutes. Okay, so <laughs> I'll just run it. I'll just keep talking. So okay. we're also on Twitter <laughs> at, at Joan and Janet is the show at Janet Bear, uh, Janet Beyond is Janet uh, and I am Joan Newcomb. And we're also on YouTube, and my YouTube shows are on the show. I just want to let you know that coming up this next Saturday, August 12th at 3 p.m. in Tacoma at Cutters Point Coffee on Pearl is my Consciousness Master Class. It's an opportunity to go deeper into consciousness and go beyond parallel universes. So if you've been listening to this show, uh, it is the one for you. Uh, and it's going to be $10, and it's at the meeting room at Cutters Point Coffee. If you want to know more about that, actually, all the ones coming up is on our meetup page on Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet dot com. Lots of ways, lots of things. I want to thank everyone. It's just been lovely to be with you today. Yes. Yes. And no matter where you are and when you're listening to this in time and space, there is no time or space. So you're helping to (laughs) co-create the show in this very moment. And we do appreciate you so much. And tune in next week. Uh, same time, same channels. You've been listening to Consciousness, Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. I'm your host, Joan. And I'm Janet Barrett. Thank you so very much, everyone. See you next week. You've been listening to Conscious Conversations with Joan and Janet. And thanks so much for helping to co-create the show, no matter if you're listening live or on demand. You energetically contribute to our collective experience. Joan and Janet love to hear from you and invite you to email your comments and ideas for them to explore each week. Contact them at ConsciousWithJoanAndJanet at gmail.com. Tune in next week for another great show, and until then, keep enjoying this wonderful adventure we call life.